Dalton State College will get a $370,000 grant to upgrade its health care program. And this money will help expand the nursing simulation program, according to Liam Collins. This is Pat. Problem is, Pat isn't doing too great. And so Dalton State staff here want to use a $300,000 federal grant to replace him and give students even more of a hands-on experience and get them ready for the real thing. This patient is flatlining. And this team of nurses and practitioners is rushing to save him. It's all a drill. The patient is a mannequin called a phantom in the healthcare world. It's hooked up to a computer providing real-time data just like an actual patient would. It's part of Dalton State College's simulation room where students studying to be the next healthcare leaders go to learn how to do the real thing. The whole idea is for simulation to be as close to reality as possible. Gina Curtilis Tartar is the dean of the health school. And it's not just giving them the knowledge, but teaching them how to use that knowledge, which is what's important about the simulation center. As far as phantoms go, you know, they're not real people, but it does get a baseline for the real thing, yeah. which goes hand in hand with going right into clinic. The technology needs some updates though. Pat's warranty is up, so replacing any broken parts would cost about $100,000. They're also not necessarily making any parts for him. So if something wears out, we're not able to replace yeah. it. Taking him out of circulation and closing a door for students. This week, the school secured a $370,000 federal grant through Senator John Ossoff's office to update the technology. Ossoff said it would help supply health care professionals during a nationwide shortage. This effort will create more opportunity for young people to enter the healthcare field, and I would encourage young folks who are inspired to do so to pursue those careers. Um, I think it really helps to underscore the need for well prepared healthcare providers. One in four hospitals nationwide reported a critical shortage of staff since the pandemic. The school has been a major trainer of nurses and practitioners. This year, enrollment at the school has increased by 65 percent. The grant will help make sure they are giving them the best training they can. That it's not just enough to have enough nurses or enough you know, respiratory therapists, they need to be well prepared. I mean, we need to make sure that they're caring for people the way they need to be cared for. The school expects to get the money by the end of this year and have this new updated technology by this time next year. Reporting in Dalton, Liam Collins, Local 3 News.